Each year, thousands of actors audition for Broadway productions. I want to perform on Broadway so bad, it's just seeping out of me. But less than 1% are ever hired. None of you have ever been on Broadway, and at the end of this competition, one of you will be starring on Broadway. Now, for one girl, the dream of Broadway will become a reality. The hit musical Legally Blonde is searching for a new leading lady to play the part of Elle Woods. Reese Witherspoon played Elle in the movie, the blondest and pinkest sorority girl ever. And Laura Bell Bundy has taken that role to the Broadway stage. Across the nation, thousands responded to an open casting call. I've been preparing my whole life for this. I've always dreamed of being on Broadway. This is what I was born to do. And audition in the ultimate Broadway boot camp. What you want, yes, I know what you want. Separate your legs. Four quick. Roll. You're dancing with your mouth open. Watch it. They will compete for eight grueling weeks to see who can act. Oh my God! Dance and sing the part of Elle Woods. Each week, the girls will face elimination. You're cut. Unfortunately, we just don't see you playing Elle Woods. I mean, I basically... Just stop talking. This is an audition, not a rehearsal. This is what makes the business sickening. They'll battle pressure. Oh, man. Fatigue. Why don't you sit out and just watch? And each other. I feel awesome, blossom, fabulous, fantastic. You're ostracizing yourself from the group. It's possibly like one of the most horrible things. They will embarrass themselves. We all think you need to lose weight. They'll learn this is much more than a test of talent. None of the judges wanted you to come back this week. The dream of becoming Elle is slipping away. It's a test of inner strength. This feels right. This feels me. What you just did is what I like to call a hit! Whose dream will come true. And who will see their name in lights on Broadway. You are Elle Woods on Broadway. I'm Haley Duff and I starred on Broadway in the musical Hairspray. Being in a Broadway show was the hardest thing that I've ever done. It's exhausting, but believe me, there is no greater reward for a performer than starring on Broadway. Now, the best 50 girls from across the nation have converged on New York City, where the most demanding audition of their lives begins in front of legendary director Jerry Mitchell. Hello, ladies. My name's Jerry Mitchell. I'm the director and choreographer of Legally Blonde. Jerry Mitchell is a legendary Broadway director, choreographer, triple threat. He's like God. There's a lot of pink up here. <laughs> Unfortunately, I gotta get rid of some of it. Ladies, if you wanna be on Broadway, you're gonna have to impress me. Casting the next Elle Woods will be my decision. So let's start right now. Great. Let me see the whole thing from the top. This is a really amazing opportunity because the winner gets to be on Broadway as Elle Woods. In just a short time, there will only be 15 of you, so give me your best shot. Here we go. It's five, six, seven, eight. Got Number 19. Number 46, 36, 25. So we're up there doing our thing, 50 girls, and all of a sudden, bam, one by one, he starts eliminating girls. It's down to 30 girls. I need to lose half of you and get it down to our 15. Number 40, what's your name? You're dancing with your mouth open. Number 16, number 21, 30. I was looking around and seeing who was going home, and some of the girls that I thought were definite in had gone home. Give me all you got. 
Ladies, you're tired now? It's only been a couple of hours. Try eight shows a week. Number 41. And the last number on my list is number 27. Thank you very much. That's all we need to see today. Well, congratulations. You've made it to the 15. Well done. I'm one of the top 15. I felt like a six-year-old that just got a pony for her birthday or something. Like, I'm just so excited. One of you still has the chance to be the next Elle Woods on Broadway. And they're 50. It's not really within reach. When it's 15, you can taste it. My parents met doing the original production of Grease on Broadway. My father won four Tony Awards. So being this much closer to seeing my name in lights is being that much closer to realizing a dream that I've had since I, you know, was in utero. Since the day that I saw Legally Blonde, it's been my dream to be Elle Woods. I live it. I live and breathe Legally Blonde because it's, it's my favorite. Hey, ladies, I have someone very special I'd like you to meet. Actress Haley Duff. <laughs> Haley has proven she's a triple threat. She can sing, dance, and act, and has starred in Hairspray on Broadway. She knows what it takes to make it on Broadway, and she'll be your mentor for the remainder of this competition. Congratulations, girls. You've made it. But ladies, stay focused. You don't want to get too comfortable. Today's audition is not over by any means. Unfortunately, by the end of today, another five of you will be going home. It's not over, you know? They're gonna have to kick five more people to the curb, and I am so not ready to go home because I know this is what I want and I know I can do it. You've had your chance to dance, now we're going to all get to hear you sing. Don't worry. All the people that are working with you today are the people that trained me for my Broadway debut. I am ready to sing. This is my strong suit. This is what I'm good at. OK, on to the next phase of your audition. You're going to be working with Broadway vocal coach Seth Radetzky. Seth? Hi. What up, girls? Seth is a three-time Emmy-nominated writer, musician, and vocal coach extraordinaire. And he's going to teach you the song, So Much Better, from the musical. So Much Better is one of the strongest power belts on Broadway I have ever heard. So pay attention and break a leg. Okay, bye. Come to the piano. Come to the piano. All right, I'm going to teach you the end of Act One. This is called So Much Better. And this is a song where Elle sort of decides that she's not just at Harvard to win back her boyfriend. She's there because she deserves to be, because she's brilliant, and she's going to become an amazing lawyer. So anyway, this song is a killer to sing because A, it's phenomenally high, and the worst is the last note is only held for an hour and a half. Okay? <laughs> On a scale from 1 to 10, I would say that my singing abilities are a 10. I sang my first solo when I was 3 years old on the steps of my church. And I started out in the recording industry when I was 17 years old. I released a Christian album. I'll be there on Monday, 9 o'clock. Then we will see who wants the walk. No, no, I can't wait. I will be there at 8 when they unlock the door. Good. Okay, so girls, and... The point is, this totally relates to you, I feel, in the sense of like, she's like, I'm gonna be there at nine, then she's like, I'm gonna be there at eight. It's just an expression on Broadway. To be early is to be on time. To be on time is late. To be late is unacceptable. So apply it to yourself, girls, one more time. Apply it. Learning so much better was the, the highlight of my day. Confidence has always been like a, a huge issue for me. I feel like I'm at a point in my life where I can honestly say that I am so much better than I used to be. I'll be there on Monday. Yes, subtext, you are not begun to work. It's gonna get a lot harder. Just saying, show me your sassy low notes. I am so much better. Show me your sass. I grew up in a show business family, so I'm used to being around performers. My grandmother's been on Broadway. Some families are plumbers, and you go into the family business, and we're all actors, so I'm in the family business. I am so much better. 
Okay, before you give me an earache, there's a big high note coming. Let me also say, just acting wise, don't put me to sleep. Give each one a different meaning. So it's not just, I really sound pretty. Don't I sound pretty? Oh my God, I sound pretty. Okay, you know what I mean? Make it interesting. One, two, here's the first. I am so much better. I am so much better. I love to sing. I love the sound of my voice. I love the noise that comes out of my mouth and it just brings me immense pleasure. It's always heaven. That's right. I am so much better. One, two. Everybody. Duration of that note is so long that you could start singing it, read a book, write a book, talk to your grandmother, and then it would almost be over. Excellent. Okay, it's much harder in the show because you're totally winded. You've been dancing the whole time. So it's definitely going to get a lot harder. I want to be the next Elle Woods so badly. I don't think words can describe it. I need to be here. Coming up, the girls are pushed to their physical limits. My feet hurt. My legs are throbbing. And later, five more are sent packing. Who will make it to the final ten? Unfortunately, we just don't see you as the next Elle Woods. To be on Broadway, you not only have to be a strong singer, but you have to be an equally strong dancer. Learning some of the dance moves quickly was the hardest part for me in preparing for my Broadway debut, and these girls are going to learn the choreography in record time. Right. So we have five, six, seven, eight hands. One and two and three and four. Crazy, right? Do it again. I've been performing my entire life. I've been dancing since I was two, so this is pretty much just second nature to me. I feel that what really sets me apart as a triple threat is that I also have the personality and spunk to go with it. It is awesome, blossom, fabulous, fantastic, I'm not gonna lie. Five, six, seven, eight, one and two, and four, five, six, seven, eight. I just get so excited when I'm dancing to the songs of Legally Blonde. I'm from a small town. I've never been to New York before. I've never even rode on a plane. What? I feel like it's a dream and I don't know how to react yet because I just feel like, is this really this happening? A- it was just crazy and it's just so much bigger than life than my small town. Clearish, same place? Question, sorry, sorry. Yes. Yeah. Arm here, this way. Uh huh. So, one and two. I'm trying. I'm just so frustrated because I am not a strong dancer. I'm a much stronger singer. Can I hear the new thing slowly? I am. Two, three, and four, and five. My feet hurt. My legs are throbbing. We've been dancing so much. I don't think I've ever danced this much in one day. Ever. All right, guys. Great rehearsal. Let's head downstairs and meet the judges. Come on along. I've been around the block, I've done a lot of shows, but this is like a whole huge process. I hope I survive, (laughs) you know? Okay, girls, I hope the rehearsal went well, because now you're going to meet the judges that will be deciding your fate through this competition. On the left, we have the man, the top casting director on Broadway, Bernie Telsey. He's cast such hits as Rent, Hairspray, Wicked, The Color Purple, and Our Own Legally Blonde. Based on your singing and dancing performances from here on out, the 15 of you will become 10. So make the decision hard for us. Our second judge is the woman behind the words, one of the writers of Legally Blonde the Musical, Heather Hawk. Heather has also written Freaky Friday and is working on a new Reese Witherspoon project. Legally Blonde is, for me personally, such a labor of love. And we want to see our baby of Legally Blonde not only just go on, but we want to see her thrive. Our next judge is actor Paul Kanan. And take a good look at him, girls, because he could be your next co-star. Paul is a Broadway veteran. He's performed in Miss Saigon, La Caja Fall, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, and is currently in Broadway's Legally Blonde the Musical. Works every time! I wanted to be L, but there was a height issue, so I'm <laughs> judging. No, I'm just like you guys. I'm a performer, I'm a Broadway bitch in the shoes, and I want you to use this audition time to be your best. So be flawless, be pink, be L. The judges are looking for someone who can sing, act, and dance the role. 
but they're also looking for someone that has that special something that makes a great Elle Woods. You have to stand out from all the other talented girls that are auditioning. I'm confident that I'm qualified to be one of the top ten, but it's getting kind of scary because we all know Five's got to go. The big man. Hello, judges. Literally. Here's the deal. Um, I'm leaving it in your capable hands. This is this is the first major decision, narrowing it down to ten. Bernie, you know what I want. Heather, no one knows the story better than you do. And Paul, you're the one who knows the role of Elle Woods because you're on stage with her almost constantly. It's all in your hands. All right. Thank Get you, busy. Jerry. Bye, Jer. Bye. Okay. We're going to dance in groups of five. For the judges, for the first time, I need performance level. I need you to nail it. After the girls learned the song, I broke them up into three smaller groups so the judges could get a better look at their dancing. If you're going to stick around, you got to nail this combination, all right? I haven't taken dancing class in seven years. I used to be a fantastic dancer, but it's not like riding a bike. It's five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> and I'm 18 years old. I'm a freshman at Western Michigan University in the Musical Theater Performance Program. I haven't really done anything professional yet, so this is exciting and new. This has been the biggest audition I've ever done. Being a small town girl into the big city, this was like the most wonderful experience of a lifetime. And I like 40. I like the girl who's not afraid to wear leg warmers. <laughs> oh, I love leg warmers. <laughs> I'm a natural blonde, but I don't I don't think I I don't think that should affect my getting the role, but maybe it should. Five, six, seven, eight. the shortest girl in the competition. I'm five feet tall, but to me, good things come in small packages. Yep. It's done. It gets worse as it goes along. Yeah. All right, group three, it's your chance to perform. I'm really not a dancer. I, I'm mostly a singer and an actress, so I have to try extra hard, and I have to think so much about what the next dance step is, and I know my facials are always just so intense. Here we go, it's five, six, seven, eight. I'm certainly the rocker of the group. Uh, I have a rock band. They used to call me trouble in high school. I made out with everyone, everyone. But the problem is going to be the five girls you didn't like dance are going to be the ones who sing better. Next, you're each going to get the chance to sing the song so much better for the judges. So let's head down to the dressing room and everybody, let's get ready. I'm not really sure I'm going to make it to the top ten. I'm really hoping that my singing makes up for my dancing because I'm really confident with that and the dancing not so much. So I'm feeling good about going out there right now and hopefully changing their minds if they got upset with the dancing. Coming up. The girls sing the hardest song on Broadway for the judges. Oh, no. And later, five more girls say goodbye to their dream. Unfortunately, we just don't see you as the next Elle Woods. The song So Much Better is a major showstopper in Act One of the musical. If these girls want to play Elle Woods, they're going to have to be able to captivate an audience every night, just like Laura Bell does.
first step to sing was really scary. This was like big audition, big opportunity. You just better go out there and do it because if you don't, you're screwed. Hi, I'm Rhiannon. Hi, Rhiannon. Hi. Whenever you're ready. I'll be there on Monday, 9 o'clock, and we will see who walks the walk. No, no, I can't wait. I will be there at 8 when they unlock the door. Oh, oh, I'll leave in dress. have a wonderful spirit about you and a, and a great sense of joy, which is uh, very Elle Woods. And the last note made me nervous, but thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks. She's adorable. Elle Woods' personality is so close to mine. We are pretty much like long lost sisters with different color hair, I guess. You know, her bow is bright pink and mine is fluorescent pink. Hi, I'm Cassie. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. No, no, I can't wait. I will be there at eight when they unlock the door. Oh, oh, I'll even dress in black and white. See, I have not begun to fight. And you'll go, oh, much better, hello, much better. And soon, oh, you're gonna know much better that I am so much better. I am so much better. sexy when you do this. L is pink girl spirit. Okay, that really helps. When the judges told me that I was too sexy, I was kind of taken aback because I've never heard that word used with my name before. It's exciting that I made it to the top 15 girls, but it still puts a pit in my stomach knowing that five more girls are going home. Hi, my name is Bailey. Whenever you're ready. I am so much better. I am so much better. Very good, very good, Bailey. Bailey, what you just did is what I like to call a hit! <laughs> That's all we need. All right, thank you. Good job. I want to nail this solo so badly because I've come so far. I'm Mary. Hi, Mary, how are you? Doing well, thanks. Whenever you're ready. I am so much better. I always nail that note. It's always there. Even earlier today in rehearsal, it was there, but in front of the judges, it just, it wasn't, and I cracked. Coming up, the auditions continue. And the judges send five more girls home. Unfortunately, you're cut. I'm Libby. I'm Mara. I'm Cassie. I'm Selena. I'm Autumn. I'm Lindsay. I'm Lauren. Whenever you're ready. I'll be there on Monday, 9 o'clock. Then we will see who walks the walk. No, no, I can't wait. I will be there at 8 when they unlock the door. Oh, oh, I'll even dress in black and white. See, I have not begun to fight. Can you go on? Um, a lot of girls have trouble holding out the 16 bars because after singing a song with that high energy, you barely have breath to sing the song. So to hold out a note that that's, not, that's that high for that long is a little bit ridiculous. But if you can do it, that's why you're here. I am so much better. Well, we only can cast one woman. 
So can you tell us something that we don't that we wouldn't know about you? And I was a cheerleader. I love myself. <laughs> Bring the beat back. Oh my gosh. I, what do you think you have in common with Elle Woods? I'm a college graduate. I really zen with her. Wait, let me fix my hair. How have you kept your hair looking so suave and delightful all day? I have really thick hair and it's naturally wavy, so I'm I'm just really blessed. All right, let's talk about the singing. Let's bing, talk bing, about the singing bing, bing. the hair. I was just curious. There's a little Elle Woods in all of us. I'm not here to have my 15 minutes of fame making friends with other girls. But Elle Woods would also take it to the top, but she'd also make friends with everyone along the way. I mean, all the girls here are really nice. I'm not saying that they're not, and I'm not saying... Because like, coming into an environment like this would be a lot harder if the girls weren't nice, but they're really easy to talk to. Thanks, Lauren. I want this more than anything. I've basically packed up my whole dorm from college and here I am and I can do it. I'm Chloe. You ready? Mm hmm All right, let's do it. I am so much better. I am so much better. I am so much better than before. <laughs> That last note was really faltering, and this is the end of our first act. Yeah, it's not just the note. You know, it just felt like in your head, because you knew you didn't have the note, that the whole body was sort of like shrinking. You know, you know what I mean? Instead yeah, of, no. you gotta make that curtain fall. Okay. I think I could have done better, but it's okay. Hopefully I'll have another chance. Cause I am so much better. I am so much better. How was that for you? All right. It's here though, your acting's kind of here. I felt it was sort of blue steel. <laughs> what does Rachel think Elle is really saying in that song? I don't need you. Look what I can do on my own. Right. So when has Rachel felt like that? A lot. Well, you've got to show that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. Thank Thanks, you. Rachel. And you just never know how good you're doing. You think that you're doing a good job, but you never can tell what they're thinking. This is the last girl. So I'm about to go in front of the judges and sing this song so much better, and it's a huge belting song. It requires a powerhouse voice, and I know that it means everything to my career. Hi, am I? This is what I'm good at, and so I feel good. I'm excited. You know, finally a song that I can really do. I am so much better than before. There's no air in here. Okay. Don't give up at the end. I know. Even if it's woo, then you know, sell it with your feet, sell it with your body. I know. You know what I mean? Yes. Go home now. Go, go, you're done. It was killer waiting to hear our fate for the last cut. Who I loved, I don't know if I would cast them, but who I loved, Lauren. See, I didn't really feel her very much. I liked Bailey more than Lauren. She's very... Are you gonna believe that this girl is Victorian of Harvard Law? Rhiannon. She seems so young. I will say that when I watched her dance, I felt she had a goofiness to her that wasn't Elle Woods. Emma? Smart. I mean, that felt like the smartest yeah. Harvard girl that we had. Also, Emma looks a hell of a lot like Reese Witherspoon. She does. <laughs> On some level, how much she looks like Reese could be strangely not helpful. No, this is what you hate, having to reject someone that you like so much. Oh, she's talented. Everything she's talented. there, it yeah. just needs to go to the next place. You know, you felt like there is maybe a chance that she could blossom. And she's yeah, someone yeah. you want to work with. Yeah. You want to work with nice people. Yeah. She's got the whole, all the stuff. I don't know if the chops are there. Oh. Can sing, but didn't have the L singing. Total surprise. It completely transformed. We have to make a choice, right? I just finished my audition and um, I'm so frustrated. It's dry, just quit smoking. And it's made singing this song a real bitch. So I don't think that there's honestly anything I could have done differently. 
We've been dancing for how many hours? And right now, I feel I had blown it. I hadn't done my best. I hadn't done as well as I possibly could have. Coming up, it all comes down to this moment. Five of you ladies have to go home tonight. Find out who will make the top ten. Spit it out already, please. When there were 15 of us in that line and I knew five of us were going home, I honestly thought I was going to hurl on the stage. I thought I was going to blow tongues. Listen, tonight was really difficult for all of us because it, it's really hard to find 10 out of 15 because we all thought you did a good job, and I mean that. And I've just got to say, the talent on this stage is profoundly real. Girls, I've completely been where you are. So whatever happens here, bounce back. So we have decided on 10 of you, and your names are right here on the list. Unfortunately, five of you ladies have to go home tonight. If I read your name, please step forward. Bailey, can you step forward? Congratulations. You're moving forward. You can go downstairs to the dressing room. Feels like a dream right now. I, I just want someone to pinch me because I feel like it's just not real. It's just so exciting. Lindsay, can you step forward? Congratulations, you're moving forward in this competition. You, you can go downstairs. <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> I was so excited backstage. It was just a huge relief. Cassio, can you step forward? Congratulations, you're going forward. <laughs> like, I'm just so excited and so, oh, it's just euphoria. Autumn, can you step forward? Congratulations, you're going forward. You can join the ladies in the dressing room. It's Natalie. You're going forward. I'm really excited to be one step closer to being on Broadway and making my dreams come true. Obviously, there are 10 of you still left. Five of you will be going forward, and five of you will be going home. Selena, please step forward. Congratulations, you're moving forward. There were nine left. Only four of us were gonna get it. And this is when I really started to panic. Chloe, please step forward. Chloe? You're cut. We just don't see you as Elle Woods. Even when they said, sorry, you're not the next Elle Woods, it, it took a while for me to take that in. Yes, it's disappointing because, of course, every girl here wants to be the next Elle Woods. Emma, please step forward. This is when all those thoughts started going in my head of, oh my god, what if this actually doesn't happen? Emma? I was like, oh, spit it out already, please. Congratulations, you're moving forward. Join the others, please, thank you. I mean, I mean, words can't do it justice. Like, this is what I want. This is everything I want. All right, ladies, as you know, there are seven of you left in only three slots. Libby, please step forward. Libby, you're cut. We just don't see you as the next Elle Woods. Thank you. Thanks, Libby. Thank you. I feel a little shocked. It's so weird. I really was not expecting this. And when he called my name, I thought he was going to say, congratulations, you know? I'm really confused as to why I'm here and not there. Cassie S., please step forward. Cassie 
Jesse, congratulations. You can join the other ladies downstairs. Thank you. jumping and screaming. Some of us were crying. We were snapping. It was awesome. Fantastic. Mary, step forward, please. You're cut. Unfortunately, we just don't see you as the next Elle Woods. Will you please step forward? I have never felt like I was going to pee my pants so bad. It was so nerve-wracking. Mara, you're cut. We just don't see you as the next Elle Woods. Thank you. Thanks, Mara. When they said thank you, those are like the worst words to hear in show business. There are three of you and only two spots left. So unfortunately, one of you have to go home. The thoughts running through my head were like, please don't make me pack up and go home. I've come this far, don't. Let me show you more. And it's like, to have a dream in front of your eyes, you don't want it to be taken away. Lauren, please step forward. Congratulations, Lauren. You're moving forward. Come on, you can smile. It's okay. Congratulations. Congrats, Please Lauren. join the others downstairs. Oh boy. It finally got down to me and Rachel. I got really, really nervous. Final two. So scary, just because, you know, there was only one spot left, and I knew that, and so did she. So we knew one of us was going home. Ladies, this is the toughest of the day. Coming up, one girl moves on while the other goes home. We just don't see you as Elle. All right, ladies, there are two of you and only one slot left to play the next Elle Woods. When it came down to the final two, me and Rhiannon were both standing on the stage, and it was really, really intense. I just was feeling so overwhelmed. I didn't really know what to feel. I felt like I was going to cry, and it was really, really scary. Rhiannon, please step forward. Rhiannon, congratulations. You're moving forward in this competition. You still have a chance to play Elle Woods. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Rachel, I'm very sorry, but thank you so much for all of the hard work that you did today. The potential is there, but we can't cast someone based on potential. Ultimately, we just don't see you as L. You're cut. Okay. Thanks, Rachel. Bye, Rach. Everything that I've seen in theater is that it's all about the right place, the right time, with the right look and the right type. You know, today just the stars didn't align. No. the last person chosen to be in the top 10, but I promise you that I will be rising to the top. We were told that we had a big surprise, and we walk out of those doors, and there was a huge limo <laughs> outside. I felt like a kid in a candy store because I had never rode in a limo before, and I felt like it. I felt like I was something. <laughs> This is just an opportunity of a lifetime, and I feel so lucky to be here. That's Broadway! <gasps> when we 
we pulled up to the Palace Theater, we could barely keep our butts on the seat. This is where they do Legally Blonde. I could be performing in that theater one day, and I was just like, it felt so surreal. Ladies, this is Laura Bell Bundy. Ah! If you are tired right now, that is nothing. <laughs> you are going to be exhausted when you do the show. But it's really, really fun, and it's totally rewarding, and it's totally worth it, and there's no price tag on it. I'm so excited to see you all here tonight, and I wish you all the best of luck, and I think you all have something very special or you wouldn't have gotten here. Stay pink, stay positive. Welcome to the sorority. Yeah. Big snaps. Go home and get some rest. You're going to need it. This season on Legally Blonde the Musical, The Search for Elle Woods. The ten finalists will live under one roof. With New York City as their training ground. And they'll have some of the best coaches on Broadway. I think we need to ratchet that up. But to land the role of a lifetime, they'll have to impress the judges. It makes us feel like you're wasting our time. Are you even aware of what you look like out there? They just come in and they talk down to us like we're two years old. Some will fall prey to the stress. So help me dress. Whoa. I'm full of a lot of emotions, emotions yeah. right now. It's depressing. Yeah. I know. I First two, snap. Snap. Oh, too many cooks in the kitchen. And tension mounts as the competition heats up. Do you think you should stay? Did you feel like girls were kind of pooping out on yours and you're like... Definitely. Definitely. That pissed me off. She threw us all under a bus. Not cool. One by one, they will be eliminated. You're cut. You're cut. We just don't see you as the next Elle Woods on Broadway. I promise you, I can do this. In the end, only one girl's Broadway dream will become a reality. You pack a punch. Which of these ten hopefuls has what it takes to become the next leading lady? You are Elle Woods on Broadway.